two means you. L or A M means he or she. Nosotros, it's plural, it means we. Vosotros, a group informal. And it's used where? Uh, in Spain. Ellas, which means a group of they. Ellos, a group of guys or mixed. So again, if I have a room full of 99 women and one baby boy, we are Ellos, aren't we? They. All right, very good. Okay, so, wait a minute, I gotta get my. I gotta get mine. You know what this is, right? Imagine it's real. Imagine this is real. It's what is this? Egg. 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 Today we're gonna learn to conjugate. You know what that means? Yes. Filming. Yes, kind of. Okay. Well, when we conjugate, what we do is we put our proper proper endings onto a verb. So for a minute, what is an infinitive? This is where you take notes, people, somewhere on a piece of paper. You can do it right on your color sheet. What is an infinitive? This is where I get cheesy and I say it is a verb in its purest form. Is this the purest form of an egg you can get? No. Pretend it's real. Right? Yes. Because if it's not, it would be broke and you'd be eating it in an omelet or something, right? An infinitive has to have the same thing done to it as well. You cannot leave an infinitive as it is. Do you know what I mean by an infinitive? What is the verb in its purest form? Give me some examples. Um, Give me a verb as an example in Spanish where it is an infinitive. Correr. Correr. Hablar. Travel hard. Those are all examples of infinitives. Infinitives in Spanish can end in three ways. They can end in an AR, they can end in an ER, they can end in an IR. Hope you're writing this down. 80% of all verbs in Spanish end in AR. 10% of verbs in Spanish end in ER. 5% of verbs in Spanish end in IR. Are you mathematicians? No. Thank you. Mighty Soul says, what's up with the other 5%? Well, those are called irregular verbs. You already know one of them. Soy. Eres. Ace. Do you know that verb? That verb is ser. We started with a hard, irregular verb in Spanish one. But the rest, the other 95% of verbs, are all regular verbs, and they have a pattern. Okay? Notice that today we're going to be starting with AR verbs. They are the, these are the biggest chunk of infinitives in Spanish, and we're going to learn to conjugate them. <clears throat> now I can set you all free like little birdies because once you know how to put the endings on these, this opens up a whole new world of Spanish. It absolutely does. So imagine this is an infinitive. You can't just leave the egg as it is. got to make an omelet or something out of it, right? Yeah. So what do you do to an egg? You crack it. That's what you do to an infinitive. So let's take this verb for a minute. Flip your page over. Do you have the verb hablar up there? Yes. What's hablar mean? Um, to talk. To speak. Right? So this is an infinitive. The first thing you do it in, to an infinitive when you're getting ready to conjugate is you crack it. That means you drop its ending. This is what kind of verb? AR. So you drop the AR. And you're left with the yolk or the stem. Yes, it's ob. H-A-B-L. Ob. Much of that is your stem. Does that make sense? Okay, now flip your page over. Back to where we were. You know how you had those subject pronouns you wrote in on that chart? Mm -hmm. Each one of these subject pronouns is going to get a verb ending. So when I want to conjugate the verb hablar with yo, I add an o to the stem. Does that make sense? When I want to conjugate it with two, I add os. This is like adding the salt and pepper. This is like adding, what else you put in an omelet? The cheese, ham. All the good stuff. Begins. Yes, all the good stuff. If you're conjugating the verb with usted, el, or ella, what do you put on the end? Ah, notice how they all three get the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. They all three get the same thing. Ah. When I conjugate it with nosotros, what do I have? Oh. oh. I have almost. Oh. You don't know this, I'm just asking. Vosotros, ais will be your new ending. When you have ustedes, ellos, and ellan as your subjects, on. So is there an accent over the A? There is. And we're going to get to that. 
So look at our AR verb endings now. Class, I repeat them. O. O. As. As. A. A. Amos. Amos. Ais. Ais. An. An. We're coming back to these. Now, if you flip it over, where Ablar was at, where you wrote to speak, what's the stem of Ablar one more time? Um. Okay, now, I'm going to go back to this chart. And I'm going to write in a different color. We're going to conjugate our first verb together. We're going to conjugate the verb ablar. I speak. Knowing that you find the stem, H, A, B, L, Ab. What do you put on the end? Oh. Ab. Blow. Right? Ob. Write it down. So you have your, you have your blue chart like more than And what are you going to put on the is to see where it says endings? What are you going to write in the second column, first row? Ablo. Ablo. Write it down. Ablo. Should we write you and you can you? definitely write the subject pronouns in. Yo, tu, usted, el, ella. Anytime you see a chart, anytime you take notes on a chart, that's exactly what you do. Write your subject pronouns in. How about when we conjugate it with two, we say what? Hablas. Very good. So we did the stem, we came up with the stem, and then we added the ending. How about the next one? How about Habla. with usted? Abla, la. Very good. So we find our stem first, then we apply our ending, right? Do I need to write abla for the remaining? No. You just know, right? How about we speak? Hablamos. Hablamos. Very good. How about that uncommonly used vosotros for us? Hablo. Ice. Hablais. How about the ustedes form? Ellos and ellas form? Hablan. Very good. Now down at the bottom of your blue chart, do you see how it already says yo hablo? Yo hablo, do you see that? And there are lines? Mm -hmm. It says now let's translate. I think this is one reason why it is hard for a native speaker of English to learn, or a native speaker of Spanish, to learn English. Because you are learning one word, hablo, right? Yeah. They're actually learning how to say, yo hablo, as four different things. You say you have your lines and it says, like, um, yo hablo, and then it has those. Yo hablo can mean lots of things. First of all, Spanish is very cool in this regard. First of all, did you see how every subject gets its own little ending? Yeah. We don't have that in English. We have I speak, you speak, he speaks. speaks. That's the only change we have. Look at this, though. Yo hablo in Spanish or in English can mean I speak. It can also mean I am speaking. See how we put the helping verb in there? Look at the next thing it can mean. I do speak. And if we change our voice to make it sound like a question, hablo, do, I speak. See how that one word hablo can mean four different things? Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that it's easy to earn, it's easy to learn English, is it? It is not. One word can mean four different things. So what do you think two hablas then now means? Use. Okay, so now we're saying you speak. Are you filling this in with me on the next one? Yeah. How about the next one? You are speaking. You are speaking. I'm running out of room up here. You are speaking. How about the second one? You are. You. I am speaking. No, no you, you are. Speak. You do speak. do speak. And if we make it sound like a question, do you speak? Do you speak? Awesome. You have writer's cramp yet? Yeah. How about El Habla? What's El mean? He speaks. He speaks. Now we put an S on it because we're conjugating in English. What else is it? He is. He is. Different helping verb. We went from M, R to now is. He is. Speaking. 
about the third thing? He, will, he, does, he does, not he do. He does speak. And then again, we can make it sound like a question. We can say what? Does, does he speak? Does he speak? Good. And then make it sound like a question. Did I do that one? Does he speak? Yeah. yeah. Very good. And then we can quickly do nosotros. Nosotros hablamos. We speak. We are speaking. Do we speak? And we do speak. Uh -huh. So four things that can be translated into remember that, remember that, remember that. Write it at the top to study. Estudiar means to speak. What's the first thing you do when you see an infinitive? You crack it, you drop the AR. What's the new stem? Estudi. That means every time I conjugate it, it's going to start with estudi, right? How about I, I study? Is it to study or to speak? I mean to study. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, honey. So estudiar. And how about the two form? Estudia. So every time you write the stem, right? Estudi, estudi. O, a. So how about the next one? Estudio. Estudio. O, a. Nosotros. Estudiamos. Estudiamos. I know Claire knows it. Estudiais. Mm -hmm. And? Estudio. Okay, let's talk about this for a moment. I'm going to introduce you to a rule. It's really important that you get this rule down because I know there are Spanish 2 students that still don't remember it. How do you pronounce a word in Spanish when you see it for the first time? Here's a rule. Yeah. If a word ends, ready for this one? It's a rule, big rule. If a word ends in a vowel, an N, or an S, we accent the second to the last vowel. So let, let me let me pose this for you. Let's go. Let's look at a studio first. How many syllables? Oh, second to the last syllable. Let me rephrase that. Second to the last syllable. I don't know why I said vowel. Okay, so if we have estudio, how many syllables are in it? Estudio. Estudio. Three. Three. So does this word end in a vowel, N or S? Oh, O is not a vowel? O is a vowel. So if it ends in a vowel, an N or an S, we accent the second to the last syllable. You told me A Estudio. So where do I accent that word? The stu, right? Estudio. Estudio. Does that make sense? Yes. Try, um, let's try another one. Let's go back to hablar. A little easier one to pronounce. Look at the two form of hablas, of hablar. Hablas. How many syllables? Two. Two. It ends in a vowel and a rest. It ends in an S, so what's the second to the last vowel or syllable? Uh, uh. Um. So when I say the word, I say hablas. Does that make sense? Hablas. ¿Comprenden eso? Yeah. Let's practice a little bit. Use there on number one. Uh, what's in parentheses? Prepare. Pre preparar. What's preparar mean? To write it down. Isn't that an easy cognate? To prepare. Should I write it on Trevor's? No. So if you if you see pre preparar, it's in parentheses. So write what it means. It means to prepare. Right? What's the first thing we do to a uh, to an infinitive? We drop its ending. We drop the AR. What's our new stem? Let's go. It says mm -hmm. there's five minutes left on the battery. That's great. That's great. Prepar, right? Pray par. I'll write it up here in a different color. So we have pray par. What's our subject pronoun? Is it yo? 
What ending goes on EO? Oh. oh. So now what's our answer to numero uno? Okay, now wait a minute. How many syllables are there? Preparo. It ends in a vowel. Preparo. Perfect, Claire. Did you hear what you said? Say it again. Preparo. Preparo. That's exactly how we pronounce it. Notice what that sentence means now. I prepare the exercise. Very good. How about numero dos? What's our new verb? Hablar. What's it mean? To speak. Very good. What do we do first of all to an infinitive? <coughs> we drop the AR. What's our new stem? Habla. What's our subject pronoun on number two? Usted. Usted. You notice how it came after the infinitive space? After because it's a question. What ending goes with usted? Ah? How do we say it now? Habla. Habla. Let's look at what the question's asking. Que lengua? What's K mean? What language do you speak? In casa. At home. At home. Muy bien. Clase preguntas. No questions yet? Awesome. How about numero tres? What's the new infinitive? Pronunciar. What do you think it means? To pronounce. And what's our new stem? Pro. Nun. Si. And what's our subject? Margarita. Margarita. Who is that? A girl. It's a girl. It's singular on our chart, right? A. It's a she. A. What's our ending? A. 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 Ah. Pronuncia. Pronuncia. And what's this question saying? Margarita pronounces Spanish. Well. Oh, you said it right. You said well. You said the adverb well, not good. And I appreciate that. Muy bien. Let's go over these endings one more time. Class, repeat on. Oh, oh, as, oh, ah, repita. Oh, as, oh, ah, más rápido, no? Oh, oh as, ah, ah. faster. Oh, oh as, ah. ah. Ooh, it was good. Try this one. Amos, amos, ais, ais, an, an. Amos, ais, an. Amos, ais, an. Faster.